Hey guys, welcome back to Pillars of Eternity. Last time, we were in the sanitarium, and we're gonna go find the Animancers and uh, ask them what the hell's going on here. But before that, we uh, we got a Fear all transform all transformed. He's now all tall again. Holy shit! Can't believe it. Finally got it. Finally got the break he needed to become nice and tall. Nah, I'm only kidding. He's right here. <laughs> but we found his brother. Unbelievable. Who's this guy? What's his name? Aramid. Oh man, do we want to reach out to this guy's soul? Mm, no, we don't. Let's get out of here. Can we get? Can we take this bookcase? Holy shit, we can get books. Free books. What's this? Memoirs. I need to know no memoirs. What else can be different? Oh my god, there's books everywhere. Fear's just gonna go on a. What's that? Nope. You never know, this stuff might come in handy. Probably won't. But, we're gonna get it anyway. Okay, so apparently we've got to question all oh, the animators. Speak with her if you wish to make an appointment. One of our animators. Alright, we ain't find nothing. Right away. Anybody in here that we can talk to? Noble, who's this guy? This man's soul was torn asunder by a Buick. Oh shit. You! Speak with me! As you see, the patient is unresponsive. Come on, after us. All talk. The animator places a small stone upon the patient's forehead. Okay. A portion of his soul was. Oh shit, there's a book here. He covered in his body. We used this stone as a vessel for transport. Father became God. Holy shit. Can we. Guess we can't talk to this guy. Following your Can you hear me, Oswin? Shit, this is crazy. He's gonna wake up. Patient's eyes slowly open before a panicked, wild expression washes over him. Is this the cover, dude? Unfortunately, the standard dislocation has permanent effects, side effects. Oh, man. Patient has become more agitated, grunting and moaning as he tugs at his bonds. Got him tied down? That's crazy. Oh, God. Yep, that's great. Ah, here Welcome. we go. Hello, bold man. Have you come to sit? No. I came to touch you. Has anything unusual or suspicious been happening around here? I'd like to know more about the sanitarium. What did you do here? Okay. Definitely not up here. You can't be scaring off visitors and potential clients, you know. Downstairs is where the uh, more eccentric research is done. I check where the animus is there. All right, let's go. Of course. Sound the son of a bitch. Gotta find some stairs. Stairs. There's stairs. All right, here we go. All right, you son of a bitch. You gotta be down here somewhere. But where? Oh man, all these doors just. Slow and silent. Do we need to? Oh, that's the one we look for. Hello. Good day to you. Escort, I'm here, looking so hard for answers in my research that I do not see the Keef standing in front of me. What can I do? Uh, I'm looking for a nice spell on awakenings. Yeah, let's do that. Ah, that would be me. The lack of research subjects has made me more of an expert in counting floorboards. I'd like to transfer animation success in. Betressing pre-awakened souls to soothing those whose souls have been awakened. I need subjects. Most of my patients here are too broken to produce reliable results. It is a tragedy to come so far for nothing. You're in luck. I have a volunteer. <laughs> Galleried, who is it? I don't know about this. Don't be silly. The process is perfectly harmless. All you must do is stand in that cage. What? What? <laughs> I beg your pardon? I jest. Your agents are so uptight. I do not even know what the thing is used for. It belonged to the last occupant of this office. I think I think now they upgraded him to a cell. Again, I jest. Jesus Christ, this guy likes a joke. So I need you to sit here. She takes Sloths by the shoulders and steers him to the couch. Try to relax, but don't try too hard, and you will not be relaxing. Indeed. You must also wear these. A little cold, but the copper will help conduct your essence. The animus fastens thick copper bands to his forehead and wrists as she ratchets and tie his face twitches. Oh, God. Now I examine your soul through my scope. She reaches into her desk and produces a long chambered tube, knobs, dials, and small toothed wheels run along the side of this vide. It is fitted with Adria lenses cut to different thicknesses and ca ca cavities? Concavities? By manipulating them, I can I find the angles and densities, and that will allow me to track the anomalies in your soul. Holy fucking shit! 
How exciting! I've never seen this sort of thing performed. Khan appears at the device with interest. It seems subtly complicated. His mind is full of hesitations. Angles upon angles, drawing him out of his own fears will be difficult. But first, we must find this cunning interloper. You will answer some personal questions while I make adjustments. Don't worry, I'm sure we won't hear any of it. <laughs> Sloth squirms on the couch. Very well! He's stood over there, out the door. She holds a scope to an eye and flicks a knob. Let's begin! Tell me something personal, something from a time before your awakening. There's nothing to tell. I was just an old child living in the Scythewood. His face is set to a frown, but rigid edges of apprehension show through nevertheless. Uh, what do you remember? Tell me, talk about your parents. As you speak to Sloth, you feel your voice like a bell in your chest. It tolls softly, luring him into the mists of his own memory. But his head doesn't seem to notice anything. But you feel as if your words are smoothing his essence and tangling his, its many threads. My mother is all away most of, is away most of the time with the Fayans Fa family. But I always know when she is coming home. Father's bottles accumulate like storm clouds on the horizon. His fits of temper become swifter and more violent. Still shames him knowing that her hemneg to another man supports is better than his labours as a steward. Oh, damn. This is good. I'm starting to see something. Continue. Tell us about the time you awakened. I'm in my fifth year of training. Mother is home. I can let my guard down a little because when she is around, he is usually only angry with her. But he has heard that I have been causing... being. Trouble, had trouble casting missiles, that my flame shields are unstable. He is furious that I have failed, and Mother's present reminds him that he has failed too. The first blow takes me by surprise. One moment I am swept, sweeping the kitchen, the next I am sprawling on the ground, stupidly looking at flecks of my blood on the tile. Holy shit, Sloth, no wonder you so fucked up. His boots glisten with fresh polish, foot across the floor. He kicks me in the stomach, and I curl up, in, up to shield my vitals, but it's pointless protecting one thing that only leaves something else exposed. Still huddled on the ground, I retreat as fast as I can. I retreat until the vision of a of the kitchen and my own trembling knees is nothing but a pinprick against a field of black. Holy fucking shit. Mad mad Maggio He's hypnotized himself with this old memory. You've got to bring him out of it. Quickly. I almost have him. Squeeze Sloth's hand. You're safe. Everything's fine. Shaking with the shoulders. Sloth, you gotta wake up! This is a memory. This isn't real. Uh, slap. <laughs> We're doing it. I gotta slap him. <laughs> Your flattened palm is inches away from his cheek when he shoots up and grabs your wrist. Sloth's eyes snap open, but the expression you see in, in them isn't. Try it again and I'll take it off before I get you. Back, get back to you. Uh oh. That's it! I'm seeing a shift in this essence. Something spreading and congleaning. She's going to say, Keep talking. He seems to respond to you. What brought you here? Cranky bones and voices high in ye. That warm moass is feeling that crips down your gut when crisis is nigh. Jesus Christ. I can't, don't know if I can speak that way. Belfetto. <laughs> what the fuck is this guy talking about? We have flares of totally distinct essence. She just short notes that. Now try to get the two of them talking. Oh my god. Uh, Sloth, ask him what she's doing. Sloth's face twists in fury. Sticking weed worming parasite. You'd say the same to your, to your own kindled twig when it betrays you. <laughs> I think he's, she has the advantage of you there, Sloth. Good, yes, very good. She let's describe it. Just a scope. I can now see two separate pans of essence where he ebbs the other flows. It's as if the awakened soul fills the spaces that he leaves empty. She prompts you to, with a circling of her wrist, quim still. Go on. Sloth, what's this about? Centering space, centering space to issue them. So what are you taking from him? I've given her nothing. She usurps me in my own body. All right, I'll lend him a pair too. You should ask what I did with old man of his. With the old man of his. At the last time he lay a hand on us, I broke a break, a break, a break it in three places. Holy shit. 
Sus head jerks to the side. That wasn't your decision. It's never been your decision. Holy shit. Thought I was awakened, but now I'm still e. And damned if I'm letting you name draggers around through through the scupper. Ah, very good. I think I finally found, finally got something we can work with. I've tracked Esmia Esmia's essence throughout the exchange. She has a particularly high density index during the most heated portions of the oven, and her essence seems to be localized most clearly in the lower portion of the subject's left regions. That's right around the spleen, which of course means that she is triggered by black bile. What? No, no doubt the subject's characteristic melancholy is to blame. Sloth blinks back to you and in almost imperative, you're not quite sure who's looking out of his eyes. That's sort of horseshit. Oh, now we know. Sandy's eyes are wide and innocent. Doesn't seem as though she's got one thing right. Yes, never mind my years of training. I suppose you have a better explanation. It says manifest when Sloth is in danger or under pressure. You're close. I think it his appearances are related to the potential source of trouble for Sloth. So that's right. That's absurd. It was obviously showing up when he's feeling friend. If you're right, then removing his spleen should secure him. Jesus Christ, we got to can't, can't take the guy's spleen. Let's say when he's in danger or under pressure. I suppose that could be true. I'll have to check this against the other research. Well, and good for you. What does this mean for me? We're gonna start making a grand show of concentration. However, you catch a stealing glance at you over the pages. She tries to take control from you when she thinks you can't face a problem on your own. You can't let her make the decision for you. She did you a favor by doing what you followed, didn't she? I think she's trying to help you stand up for yourself. You may not like the her methods, but you should hear her out. Yeah, I don't think so. It seems that it is mere steps in when she determines that you're in danger. It's not clear whether this is help or a hindrance. Just to take control when she thinks, she, yeah, we'll go with the top one. My thoughts exactly. I'll have to be more careful about her from now on. I've got a lot to process. Regardless, thank you for your help for you. It does not look a besmage. Well, I hope this has been as useful for you as it is for me. I finally have the material worth publishing. You'll be the toast of Reverend 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 Fred Fiat Sloth. Jesus Christ! Oh my God! The experience just by doing that, amazing. Aye, advancing the right wise principles of animancy just when what you think always wanted. Can you catch a darting movement out of the corner of your eye? Bess is humming to herself, still occupied with the scope, but Sloth is holding her nose. He's just about to tuck them into his cloak when he catches you watching. He holds a finger to his lips. His eyes are employed. Please don't. Please, I don't want my personal information published like this. Express you not after her nonsense. No, you get your explanation, she gets her research. That's the deal. Yeah. Leave me out of this. Fair enough to do, Chloe. Can't let you do that. Not after hearing how much this means to her. Oh, God. Let's go with... Fair enough. Like, at the end of the day, she got. She could just remember all the stuff. Night to worry. We'll see this on our own. Holy crap. Yes? That still wasn't what we're looking for. God damn it. Alright, next. Taxes. God damn bandits. Who's this guy? Murad. Can we steal from him? Corner of Murad's rest rests a large river trunk. It seems likely to contain something important, if only by virtue of its size. Examine the trunk. My girl's got schools on it. Nothing goes to your attention except for a large padlock on the front. Whatever this animator keeps in here, he does not want anyone else to know. Open the trunk. <laughs> if a lock holds the trunk shut, it's too sturdy to break and the mechanism looks too complicated. You'll need to find a key. God damn it. Alright, let's go talk to this dude. <laughs> Good day to you. Can I help you? What are you, what are you working on? My area focus is witches. Witchets. More specifically, how to cure them. What's a witchet? Halborn received a transplanted animal soul during infancy. Oh my god, what the fuck? Okay. This odd situation? Yeah, indeed. Solution, sorry. Meanwhile says we're trying to do something about the crisis better than letting it swallow a generation of children. 
That's true, I guess. Despite the controversy, it was only went so far as to, because at first it seemed to it seemed to work. People called it the salvation. Children had never been responsive to any kind of stimuli. Suddenly seemed aware of the surroundings of their families. Complications don't begin until puberty, but that that's when the incompatibility between the two bodies and the, the body and the soul take shape. Children become violent, ravenous. We pay dearly for our mistakes, and I promise you angry mobs hunted down the animators and burned down their homes with them still inside, often as not. A grotesque manipulation, a disparate solution for a desperate problem, and the parents were heartbroken, betrayed. She closed her eyes to recede from you for a moment. But it was important to try something, was it not? To bring hope, even for a little while. People took to call it the cruel salvation, and many still loathe us for it. But we want to stop the legacy as much as anyone. The public begged for our help, and we did our best as we could. I still don't know if it was, if if that absolves us. Holy shit! Why? And the question is that just think of the families that could be healed. Okay. Such pain, watcher, and such determin determination. I see. Uh, anything unusual? You must be joking! This is the sanitarium. Nothing is unusual down here. Okay. <laughs> Although now that I think of it, the patients seem more agitated, lady, but they are Cadman Azos responsibility, not mine. If there's nothing else, just looking around. Be quick about it. Not the secretary has a lax visitor policy. Alright. Holy crap. Got some more information. Uh, mention the sanitary parents is more agitated than normal. Okay, we gotta go find this guy now. Holy shit, what's it? Ah, oh, didn't get them. Out we go. Next room. Oh my god, this guy's got... God's Ripley. I can get it to spill its secrets. It's done. Oh shit, these patient records. We'll be, uh, having a quick look through these. And seal. Oh, maybe we got something out of that. What do we get? He was absent from his office and he's evidently been running some secret experiments. I should take this up with the head warden. Where this is connected to the learning keys operation remains to be seen. Okay. We will do that after we check out this empty room. God damn. Can we take a laser in there? Ah, oh, damn. Let's go speak to the dude. He might want to come down and kick his ass himself. Although he's made of stone, so I don't think that'll quite work. <laughs> Okay. Where is he? Gods keep you. Found records that Azo may be running some questionable experiments. Experiments? He's in charge of patient welfare now. He's not authorized to run any more experiments. I'm disappointed, Governor. I hoped he would be the one to guide your inqu inquiry. He'll be in his office or in the patient wards. I'm granting you immediate access to so you can find him. No doubt you will wish, will wish to speak to him further on this matter. And I, for one, am curious to know what he might have to say. Tread carefully in the wards. There are a few dangerous cases, I would ask. Also that you do not do your best not to agitate the patients. They have enough troubles as this is. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, we gotta go. Grab him. Okay, let's go talk to this son of a bitch. Let's see what he's got to say for himself. Damn right, he said we can go in. Alright, what the hell's going on here? The families leave them in these places? Holy crap, look at this guy. Flesh construct. Uh, Faramon. Gotta find the dude. Oh, got it. He goes. Oh shit! Can we, can we take that? Come back. What's this? Spirits. Yeah, this doesn't really do much from the looks of it. Oh man, these fucking flesh constructs everywhere. Why can't we go in there? We demand access to everywhere. It's patient. Not the one we're looking for, it seems. Whoa. What you found? Nice. What have we here? Found some gold red chew. Holy shit. Take that. You in here? Shit, this place is huge. Jesus. Patience. Who's in here? I shall make it so. Yes. It's done. Oh shit, what is this? Need one handed mace? Put 
with that net. That could be that could be come in handy. 18 to 26, and it will. Oh yeah, that's what we need. Bloom. Eh, oh shit, that's the guy. I shall make it so. It's done. Just gonna steal this guy's stuff. Light armor, breakout preservation. Stick that on field for now. Okay. That's not the guy we're looking for. God damn. We just come around in a circle. It appears so. The hell's Ripley? Okay, more topic for somebody for my for any for my next experiment. Do not break this from the, the sanitary stores. I don't have the time to deal with the head wardens and inevitable questions. Holy shit, this guy's crazy. Alright. Everybody get back there. We're gonna leave it there for today, guys. Next time we're gonna find this son of a bitch and interview him and see what the hell's going on. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit the like button, leave me a comment, I'd love to know what you think. If this is your first time here, please subscribe. I'd love to have you join us. Until next time guys, see ya!